June 1832, The Evening and Morning Star, Independence, Missouri. To the saints of Christ Jesus, scattered abroad. Brethren, as some of you have not been correctly informed, as we understand, respecting the order of the gathering of the saints to Zion. Therefore, for the benefit of the Church of Christ, generally, I subjoin a few extracts from the Revelation on this subject, that all may know and understand, and so conduct themselves. That order and not confusion may be produced, for God is a God of order. In the love of Christ. Yours, Edward. Extracts. Let the privileges of the lands be made known from time to time by the bishop, or the agent of the church, and let the work of the gathering be not in haste, nor by flight. But let all be done as it shall be counseled by the elders of the church, at the conference. According to the knowledge which they receive from time to time. They who are privileged to go up unto Zion, let them carry up unto the bishop. A certificate from three elders of the church, or a certificate from the bishop, in Ohio, otherwise he who shall go up unto the land of Zion, shall not be accounted a wise steward. Or be accepted of the bishop in Zion. Let those therefore who are among the Gentiles flee unto Zion. And let them who be of Judah flee unto Jerusalem. Go ye out from among the nations even from Babylon, from the midst of wickedness which is spiritual Babylon. But verily thus saith the Lord let not your flight be in haste, but let all things be prepared before you. That the world at large may the better judge, concerning the above prophecy, we add an extract from the Book of Mormon. It will be seen by this that the most plain parts of the New Testament, have been taken from it by the mother of harlots while it was confined in that church, say, from the year A.D. 460 to 1400. This is a sufficient reason for the Lord to give command to have it translated anew. Notwithstanding King James translators did very well, all knowing that they had only the common faculties of men and literature, without the spirit of revelation. Edward. And the angel of the Lord said unto me, Thou hast beheld that the book proceeded forth from the mouth of a Jew. And when it proceeded forth from the mouth of a Jew, it contained the plainness of the gospel of the Lord, of whom the twelve apostles bear record. And they bear record according to the truth which is in the Lamb of God, wherefore, these things go forth from the Jews in purity, unto the Gentiles, according to the truth which is in God. And after that they go forth by the hand of the twelve apostles of the Lamb, from the Jews unto the Gentiles. Behold, after this, thou seest the foundation of a great and abominable church, which is the most abominable above all other churches. For behold, they have taken away from the gospel of the Lamb, many parts which are plain and most precious, and also, many covenants of the Lord have they taken away. And all this have they done, that they might pervert the right ways of the Lord, that they might blind the eyes and harden the hearts of the children of men. Wherefore thou seest that after the book hath gone forth through the hands of the great and abominable church, that there are many plain and precious things taken away from the book. Which is the book of the Lamb of God, and after that these plain and precious things were taken away, it goeth forth unto all the nations of the Gentiles. And after it goeth forth unto all the nations of the Gentiles, yea, even across the many waters which thou hast seen with the Gentiles which have gone forth out of captivity. And thou seest because of the many plain and precious things which have been taken out of the book, which were plain unto the understanding of the children of men. According to the plainness which is in the Lamb of God. And because of these things which are taken away out of the gospel of the Lamb, an exceeding great many do stumble, yea, inasmuch that Satan hath great power over them. Nevertheless thou beholdest that the Gentiles which have gone forth out of captivity, and have been lifted up by the power of God above all other nations upon the face of the land. Which is choice above all other lands, which is the land which the Lord God hath covenanted with thy father, that his seed should have, for the land of their inheritance. Wherefore, thou seest that the Lord God will not suffer that the Gentiles will utterly destroy the mixture of thy seed, which is among thy brethren. Neither will he suffer that the Gentiles shall destroy the seed of thy brethren. Neither will the Lord God suffer that the Gentiles shall forever remain in that state of awful woundedness which thou beholdest that they are in. Because of the plain and most precious parts of the gospel of the Lamb which hath been kept back by the abominable church, whose formation thou hast seen. Wherefore, saith the Lamb of God, I will be merciful unto the Gentiles, unto the visiting of the remnant of the house of Israel in great judgment. And it came to pass that the angel of the Lord spake unto me, saying, Behold, saith the Lamb of God, after that I have visited the remnant of the house of Israel, and this remnant of which I speak, is the seed of thy father. Wherefore, after that I have visited them in judgment, and smitten them by the hand of the Gentiles. 
and after that the Gentiles do stumble exceedingly, because of the most plain and precious parts of the gospel of the Lamb which hath been kept back, by that abominable church. Which is the mother of harlots, saith the Lamb. Wherefore, I will be merciful unto the Gentiles in that day, saith the Lamb inasmuch that I will bring forth unto them in mine own power, much of my gospel, which shall be plain and precious. Saith the Lamb, for behold, saith the Lamb, I will manifest myself unto thy seed, that they shall write many things which I shall minister unto them, which shall be plain and precious. And after that thy seed shall be destroyed and dwindle in unbelief, and also, the seed of thy brethren. Behold, these things shall be hid up, to come forth unto the Gentiles, by the gift and power of the Lamb, and in them shall be written my gospel, saith the Lamb, and my rock and my salvation. And blessed are they which shall seek to bring forth my Zion at that day, for they shall have the gift and the power of the Holy Ghost. And if they endure unto the end, they shall be lifted up at the last day, and shall be saved in the everlasting kingdom of the Lamb. Yea, whoso publish peace, that shall publish tidings of great joy, how beautiful upon the mountains shall they be!